we are operating under the perception that it could be that as the young men um, have said that the motorcycle that they were on have the the muffler removed and because of the removal of the muffler it makes a lot of noise when you gear down it will make a backfire song and as a part of the investigation i had directed this morning that mr jones um, take the motorcycle to a mechanic to verify if in fact the motorcycles would be capable of making such noise that was done and the mechanic do confirm that the motorcycle in fact make those noise so we're still in limbo where that is concerned um my thing is that from what i have seen through the investigation is that the force used by the police officers in that particular incident was excessive and uh, it ought not to have occurred as said by mr hernandez we do have a pursuit policy and the pursuit policy is clear I can tell you for the first time in the history of the police department, we have a partnership with the Human Rights Commission. And we even went to the, to the, to the extent of creating some very nice human, human rights booklets that we issued to police officers. We went even further to make sure that the legal unit within our department gone around the country and uh, ensure that they train police officers in the human rights policy, the pursuit policy, and uh, the use of force policy because these are policies that we, um, we, 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 we know are very essential to the performance of police officers out on the streets. And so any breach of those policies by members of the department must be taken very seriously, especially when the outcome is what we saw in Orange Walk on Saturday night. So Mr. Hernandez um, is putting together his report um, from the compliance standpoint. And his report with the findings um, will be submitted to the Professional Standard Branch.